Hey there, everybody. Tony Porter, Cards and Dice TV. I hope you're all doing well. And uh, I'm, con I'm continuing with my replay of the uh, 83 Seaver season. And um, he, he struggles in this outing. I think he gives up five runs against the Reds. And not a very long outing. And uh, he's one and one in my replay. He was one and one in reality. This is his fourth start. And uh, let's see if we can uh, pull up uh, some of his uh, data real quick here. Um, I was looking at the game today. And in this game, Seaver, Seaver Lau goes five innings, seven hits, five runs, five walks, two strikeouts, one home run. Doing great up to this point. He's got a 2.33 ERA, whereas in my uh, replay, he's got a 3.79 ERA. So we'll see uh, what happens with the status, the status pro classic, which is bare bones, bare bones uh, baseball back in the 80s, early 80s. All right, so let's get started. I'm going to try to move this along. It's Bruce Bereni and Tom Terrific. And uh, the Mets are visiting Cincinnati. It's Danny Heap in right field leading off. Brooks batting second at third base. Uh, Mookie Wilson, the center fielder, batting third. Batting cleanup is Dave Kingman at first base. George Foster, the left fielder, batting fifth. Batting sixth is Ron Hodges, the catcher. Seventh is Brian Giles, the second baseman. Batting eighth is Ron Gardner, the shortstop. And batting ninth is Tom Terrific. Dave Concepcion, the shortstop, leads off for the Reds. Eddie Milner, the center fielder. Cesar Cedeno in right field, batting third. Batting cleanup is Johnny Bench. He's now a third baseman, not a catcher. Dan Dreesen, the first baseman. Ron Oster, the second baseman, batting sixth. Batting seventh is Dwayne Walker. I had a whole issue with him. Somebody turned his card into a Ken Griffey Jr. card. So I couldn't figure out where Dane, uh, Dwayne Walker had gone. It's because they had whited out his name and typed over it. Eighth is uh, Dan Billardello with two N's. And he's the catcher in batting ninth is Bruce Perenni. So let's see what happens. Uh, play ball, screams the umpire. And the managers, after uh, exchanging scorecards or uh, lineups, they go back to their um, respective um dugouts and let's get started no dice in this one we're going to pull cards and uh i already shuffle these so it's going to be uh Bereni, the pitches to danny heap the lefty that's a 10 so that's going to be off heap and an 84 will be an out he's an lp and that will be a fly ball left field one down next up for the mets is going to be hubie brooks And it's going to be a 10 again, so it's off Brooks. And an 83, that will be a, an RN out. Bounce to first. Error check, no error. First baseman, Dan Dreesen. Steps on the bag. Two out, and here is Mookie Wilson batting third. That's a 7. It's still on Mookie Wilson's card. And a 32 is going to be a drive in the gap. That's going to split the outfielders and roll to the wall. Big turnaround second. Mookie goes back in, goes back into second head first on that two-out double. Thought about going for three, but then uh, changed his mind. And here's Dave Kingman. So we're going to check on an error on that since it was off the batter's card. No error. And that's going to reduce Bruce Perini by one. So every time there's a hit, there's a whole process. There's a one, two, three-step process. There's a check for an error. And there is a reduction of the home pitcher reduction system. So it is a, a whole thing. All right, Dave Kingman with a runner on second base. I'm going to pull a card on 11. Again, that's going to be off Kingman. And it's a 48, and that is a hit by pitch. So Kingman gets plunked, and he doesn't like it. doesn't like anything. And that he uh, loses another uh, point. So Kingman is on at first base. So the Mets with two outs here have runners on first and second early on. And here comes George Foster. In New York, they call him the $10 million bum. 
That's an 8, so that is going to be a foster, and a 62 will be an RP out of some kind, and it will be a fly ball to deep left field. Backing up on the track is the left fielder Walker, and he makes the catch, and that retires the side. So no runs, one hit, two left, and we move to the bottom of the first inning. Tom Terrific, see how he does in this one. He's going to be facing Concepcion. All right, here goes. That's uh, BD, so we pull another card. And a 12, that's going to peel off Concepcion. And a 54, he's an RN, and that'll be a line drive and caught by the third baseman, Brooks. So it's ripped by Concepcion down the line, but Brooks had him played perfectly. One down. All right, it's a 5. This is going to be off Seaver, and it's a 27 off Seaver, and that's a base on balls. Seaver struggles with the walks. Doesn't give up a lot of hits, but he's given up a lot of walks, and that's a reduction point there. So here's Cesar Cedeno with a clutch defense. Let's see who that we're going to check. Clutch defense is right field. Our right fielder is Danny Heap, and his clutch defense is nothing at all. So it's not even a zero. It's none at all. So I guess we're just going to keep on playing. There's no CD rating. I'll put another card. It's a 7. It's going to be off Sedenio, and that's a 27, and that ball is a deep drive, and that ball is gone. He got a hold of the Seaver fastball and drove it into the seats. Two-run home run by Cesar Sedenio. We pulled a 27 on the batter card, and that is 26 to 28. It's a home run, and the Astros lead it 2 to nothing. And that'll be uh, two and three. All right, here comes John Bench. So not a warm welcome for Seaver here in Cincinnati, a team that he will be uh, that he played with for a while. That's going to be an eight, so that's off Bench and a twelve. Righty on righty, and a righty on righty twelve, and that's a foul out behind the plate. Catcher. Hodges makes the catch, and that's two away. All right, so that was a two-run homer, so you got to do reduction there. A couple runs, a couple runs and a hit, so that's that's three down. So he's down to 11 now. All right, so forgot to do that. It's two, so that's off Seaver, and a 44 will be an out. It's an LN, and Seaver will get out of this inning with a fly ball left field. And that is uh, Foster out there. Two runs on one hit, the home run. And the Reds lead it two to nothing. We go to the top of the second inning. Ron Hodges is starting us off. It's a seven, so that's going to be off Hodges. And a 56, and that is an LN out. And that's bounced to short. Pick fielded cleanly by Concepcion, one away. Brian Giles is next. It's a 6. That's off Brindy. And a 26 off Brindy will be a strikeout. So he strikes out Giles off Brindy's card. And next up is Gardner. It's a 7. That's off Gardner. And an 85. It's an RN. RN is a, D -D 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 -D, a bouncer to short. Fielded cleanly by Concepcion. On target, the first. And that's three up, three down for Bereni. Seaver against Ron Oster here in the bottom of the second inning. Reds lead at 2 nothing. Pull a card, 11. That's off Oster. 87. Oster bats switch hitter. So it's, uh, ooh, it's a righty versus an 87 versus a lefty. And that's going to be a single base hit up the middle. Seaver is having some bad luck. I may have to pull him early in this game. Not going to get him, let him get beat up too badly. Dwayne Walker's next. And uh, we're going to pull a card. That's a six. That's off Seaver, a 54. And that will be hopefully a double play. He's an LN and an LN and ground ball to third base. So there's no error. That's going to, they're going to turn it unless he's an OBRA 
and I'm gonna have to check that. I'm gonna have to check the chart because there's no error running around first a, a 5G. I'm, I'm wondering if the OBRA will get there and beat it out. 5G, yes. OBRA, so it's a double play grounder to third, but the OBRA beats it out. So it's gonna be it's gonna turn into a fielder's choice. So it's Walker on it first now. And that was another hit, so I didn't bring that down. All right, so let's see. Up is uh, Bill Ardello. Pull the card. It's going to be a 6. That's off Seaver. And a 37. That's going to be a wild pitch. 33 to 41 is a wild pitch. Holy smokes. Wow, he, he struggled in, in – uh, I don't remember him struggling that much with being wild with all those walks and all the wild pitches. That's nuts. All right, so here is Bill Ardello again. Here goes. It's a clutch defense, shortstop. And shortstop is Garden, Garden Iron. He's got nothing, so we're going to just ignore it. It's a 9. That's off Bill Ardello. And an 84 will be an out rate on RP batter. Popped up, middle infield. On the infield grass is Giles. Two down. And here comes the pitcher, Bruce Brenny. In this 83 classic set that I was able to find online, um, you get all the all the pitchers come with a pitcher batting card. Interesting. That's a five. That's off Seaver. And a 66 will be an out. Uh, he is a uh, pitcher. So that's a grounded to short. No error. And that retires the side. So no runs, one hit, one left, and we move to the top of the third inning. Tom Seaver leading off in the top of the third. That's a five. That's going to be off Bereni. And a 47 will be a wild pitch. So we're going to pull. We'll do it again. That's a four. It's off Bereni. And a 63 will be an out. Seaver's, of course, he's a pitcher out. It's bounced to short. Fielded cleanly by Concepcion. And that retires Seaver. Here comes the top of the order, Danny Heap. Heap with a four, that's off Bereni. And a 44 is ball four. And he's going to lose one there. And Heap is on base. Mets need to uh, tie this up for Tom Terrific. All right. So runner on first, and uh, he... Did he lose one? Did I pull one? One, two, three, one, two, three. Yep. All right. So Danny Heap is on at first. And here is Hubie Brooks. It's a seven, so that's going to be off Brooks's card. And a 62. An RN 62 is a fly ball. Center field on the run is Milner, and Milner catches up to it. Two out. Here comes Mookie Wilson. That's a 7. That's off Mook. An 82 is an SN, and an SN is a fly ball to right to end the inning. So they strand the walk. They strand Danny Heat. No runs, no hits. One walk, one left. We move to the bottom of the third inning. All right. It's going to be the top of the order. So let's see how Seaver does in this inning. Pull the card. That's a BD, so we pull another card, another BD, and a 10. That's off Concepcion. A 31 is going to be strike three. Seaver gets him with a slider. One away. All right, it's a five. That's going to be off Seaver to Milner. Milner with a 47, and that will be some sort of an out. And LN is a ground ball to short. No error. Fielded nicely by Gardner. Those a strike to First baseman, who's that over there? Kingman. Two out. <laughs> That's a five. That's going to be off Seaver to Cedeno. And an 18 is going to be a swing and a miss. Cedeno strikes out. So two strikeouts for Seaver in that inning. Three up, three down for Tom Terrific. That's what I like to see. That's what I like to see. All right. Dave Kingman. Enough excitement, enough emotion for one broadcast. 
Dave Kingman's up, and uh, it's uh, shuffle time. All right, we're starting at the top of the fourth. It's 2 0 Cincinnati up for the Mets. It's going to be Kingman. That's a three. That's going to be off Berenny, and a 55 will be an out. Kingman is an RP, and that's a bouncer right back to Berenny. Oh, to Dreesen, one away. George Foster, right handed hitter. Foster today, 0 for 1, he flied out. That's a 6, that's off Berenny, and a 78, that'll be an out. That's an RP, and that's a bouncer right back to the pitcher. No error. So two in a row to Berenny. And here is Ron Hodges. Ron Hodges with a 6, that's off Berenny. But a 12, he is a lefty. Brenny is a righty, so a, a righty to a lefty and a 12 um, is going to be a base hit. Line to, to left field for a single. Brenny loses one. That's off Hodges. No, that was off of uh, that was off of Brenny's card. Yeah, it was a six. Okay, so Hodges is on with a single, two out single. Here's Brian Giles. That's a six. That's off Berenny. And a 43 will be ball four. So Giles takes ball four. And there's runners on first and second with two outs here in the top of the fourth inning. Up comes uh, Ron Gardner. So he loses another one there. Gardner with a CD clutch defense on who? Left fielder. Let's see. Left fielder is Walker, I believe. Yeah, Dwayne Walker. Let's see what kind of clutch defense he has. Dwayne Walker has none, so we're going to pull again. We're going to pull new cards. That's a BD. That's actually a clutch hitting, and he's got no rating. He's got a zero rating, but that counts. There is a zero there. So we pull a card, and it's an 86, and that'll be no action occurs. It's an out. RN, and that's a bounce to third. Check for the error. No error. And that retires the side. One runs, one hit. Two left, and we go to the bottom of the fourth inning. All right, another we need to uh, see where to pitch another, have a gut, another good inning for us here. Johnny Bench, Dan Dreesen, and Ron Oster. That's a five. That's off Seaver, and a 22 will be a strikeout. So, so Seaver struck out three out of the last four batters he's faced. And here's Dan Dreesen with a three. That's going to be Seaver with a 32, and that will be a pass ball. It doesn't count because there's nobody on base, so we'll do it again. It's a nine. That's off Dreesen, and a 65. That'll be an LN. And an LN out is bounced to short. Gardner charges on target to first base. Two out. And... Uh, our games are great, right? You can run the game how you want. You don't want to make substitutions. You don't have to make them. Pitchers can go the whole game. All right. It's going to be off Oster and a 35, and that's going to be a swing and a miss. Struck him out with a slider low and away. Chase that. No runs. No hits. Seaver picks up four strikeouts in his last six batters. And we go to the top of the fifth inning now. All right, Tom Terrific leading us off. That's an 11. That's all Terrific, 43, and that will be an, a strikeout. So Brenny, K. Seaver. Here's Danny Heap with an 8. That's off Heap's card and a 74. That'll be an out of LP. And what kind of out? Bounce to second. Fielded cleanly by Oster, and he throws out Heap. Two down. Top of the fifth, 2 nothing. Cincinnati, fun game. Check it out. All right, it's a nine. That's off Brooks, 24, and that may be good news. That's going to be a drive, and it's going to get cut off in the right center field gap. And they're going to hold Brooks to a single. Thought it was going to be a double, but no. And uh, Brenny loses one there. So the Mets now have a runner on first with two outs. We need Mookie Wilson to keep it going and bring up Dave Kingman and have him belt one. Put one out of the park. That's BD, and he's got a zero rating, and that's a 35. A BD 35 is going to be an out of some kind. Well, um, it's not clear what they want you to do with it. A 35 says no action occurs. Re return to normal play. 
I have 35, I'll look on the card and that's going to be a hit. So that doesn't make sense. So I guess you just keep on pulling another number. Um, that's the only thing I can figure out. Um, nine is a, is a, okay, nine. So that's off Wilson, a 12. And this is a righty versus a lefty. So that 12 is going to be a base hit. It's going to be lined to, to left field. So we're going to check for an error, no error, and he's going to lose one. And runner is at first. He will uh, stop at second base. So first and second, and here comes our big boy, Dave Con Kingman. And here's the pitch. That's going to be a six off Barani. Ah, damn it, 53. And that'll be an out, an RP. Bouncer right back to the mound. Fielded cleanly by Barani, and that retires the side. So Mets had an opportunity there, but Barani got the advantage. All right, too bad. Looking for that home run from Kong Kingman right there. Bottom of the fifth. Dwayne Walker leading it, up, leading it off against Seaver. What did he do? He hit it to Fielder's Choice. That's an eight and a 68. That's an out. An LN is a bouncer right back to Seaver. Seaver throws him out. Bill Ardello. It's a nine. And a 21, and that's going to be line base hit, and that's going to be down the line and into the corner. Billardello digging for second, the throw to second, the tag, and he is safe with a double. One out double. Seaver loses one, and plus we're going to pull a card to see if there's an error. No error. Okay, so it's Brenny now. We're going to let him bat. That's a 7. That's off Brenny's card, and it's a 57, which will be a strikeout. Another strikeout for Tom Terrific. He's got five in the last three innings. So two outs, and here's the top of the order. There's some action in the bullpen. Let's see what happens. Here's Dave Concepcion with two outs, runner on second base. Here's a pitch. It's a six. That's off Seaver, and a 35 will be a wow pitch. Oh, my God. Bill, Bill, that's the second wild pitch of the game. Bill Ardella goes to third. All right, here it is. It's a four. It's off Seaver, and a 73 will be in out. Seaver will get out of trouble. Bounce to third, unless there's an error, no error. Fielded cleanly by Brooks. Long throw in time, and that retires the side. No runs. One hit, one left, and we move to the top of the sixth inning. Wow, that was exciting. All right, let's see. Here's George Foster. It's going to be off Foster's card. 22, and that's going to be a drive over the center fielder's head, and Foster is going to go for second. Here's the tag, and he is safe. Nice slide by Foster. So he drives one over the center fielder's head, hit off the base of the wall, fielded, went right back to the center fielder, and he threw a bullet to Oster at second, who... Put the tag down, but uh, George Foster eluded the tag with one of those hook slides. So uh, had the throw been on the outside of the bag, they could have probably gotten him. But it was towards the it was on the bag, but towards the inside part of the bag, and he had to kind of swing around and reach for Foster, and he didn't didn't get him. All right, so Foster's on his second base. He loses one, and we're going to check for. An error, and there's no error on that play. And here's Ron Hodges. Here's the pitch from Brenny, and that's a 9. That's going to be off Hodges and a 23, and that's going to be line base hit right field. So second to home, there's nobody out. Second to home, right field. Who's the right fielder? It's Cedeno. Cedeno is a T3 in the outfield, so a T3. And Foster's not a great speed guy. He's a C, so T3 and a C, 11 to 46. So they're, they're going to hold him up with nobody out. It's going to be first and third here for the Mets. they got something happening. It's another minus there, my reduction, another point reduction for. And that was a off the batter, so we're going to have to pull for a, for a check for an error. And no error on that. So here's Brian Giles with runners on first and third. It is two nothing. So they're gonna they're gonna concede a run for the double play. So let's see what happens. Here's a pitch. 
That's a 12. That's going to be off Giles. And a 16 is going to be line for a base hit. And a left field cut off by the left fielder. One run comes in. And the other one will, the other runner will stop at second. So an RBI for Giles. He drives in Foster. And it's two to one now. This is an exciting little Mets team. Gardner is on uh, is at at the plate now with runners on first and second. And in the last three innings, Barini's allowed uh, one, two, three, four, five, six hits. So I feel that he's he's tiring. So I'm going to pull him for somebody who's a little bit better. I hope. And I'm going to ch check I'm going to check the box score of this game just to be fair. Um. Oh, Bereni actually went the complete game in this. He pitched a six-hit shutout in this game with nine strikeouts and no walks. He, he was dominant. Ah, oh, let me see who, the next game against the Reds, what happened. See what, what relievers they have around and who they're using. You get a sense of what's going on. Tom Hume. I don't know if they want to use that guy. Let's go to the next game. Now, the next game is with the Expos, but we can still look and see who they're using. All right, they use uh, Ben Hayes, Bill Scherer, and Tom Hume again. All right, so I'm going to bring in Tom Hume. I don't have stats or anything like that. This game doesn't come with any of that. Okay, so I'm going to go to... Tom Hume and see what can ha what'll happen. You know what? I'm gonna bring in Bill Schur. He's uh he's better than Brandy, two seven. Alright, so I'm gonna bring in Scherer here. And Scherer will not that, so he's good. He can I don't have to do a double switch. Alright, so a new pitcher and he's gonna have uh, his RR is six. He's at six. And he will be facing Gardner. He's a lefty, but that's okay. Um, because Danny Heap is, is really the guy I'm worried about. I don't know if I'm going to pinch hit for Seaver. Depends what Gardner does here. Let's see. Here's the pitch to Gardner. It's a four, so that's going to be off share. And a 17, and that's going to be a little check swing. And that's going to drop in for a base hit single to right. Runner Hodges is going to hold off at third base. Got a pinch run for him, but I felt it's only the sixth inning. But anyway, bases are loaded, nobody out. And uh, here's Seaver. Now, what do you do, right? What do you do? It's only the sixth inning. He's gone to five innings so far, but he's been dominant in the last three innings. He's picked up five Ks in the last three innings. So I'm going to let him swing away here. Hopefully, I, he doesn't like crash and burn in the bottom of the sixth, and I'll say, oh man. But there is no out, so you'll still have more guys coming up. So that's going to be a, a reduction there. And here's the pitch to Seaver. It's a BD, and he has a zero. So if I roll a low number, something good will happen, and it's a 52. That's not going to work. No action occurs. So let's go to the next a CD now. Oh, boy. Third baseman CD. And that's I don't think he has anything there. No, he doesn't. So we're going to pull another card. And that's going to be off Seaver's card. And a 41 off Seaver is going to be a swing and a miss, and he strikes out for the second time today. So one down. And here comes Danny Heap. That's why we brought in Sure. And uh, we're going to let Heap bat. Um, could bring in Mark Bradley to play right field. You know what? And I'm going to do that. I'm going to bring in Mark Bradley. The pinch hit. And he'll play, uh, he'll be a pinch hitter, and then right field. All right, here goes to Mark Bradley. I could bring in a righty price now, just to have some extra fun. Uh, let's see, Joe Price. Did Joe Price, uh, or Ben Hayes. I could be bringing Ben Hayes or Joe Price. Let's see. Those guys are here. Yep, Ben Hayes, and he's a righty, so I'm going to bring in Ben Hayes. Righty on righty. All 
All right, here's a pitch. And Hayes is an RR of 13, so he's like a long guy. That's an 8. That's going to be off Bradley, and it's an 88 off Bradley. So we got a righty versus a righty, and an 88 is going to be whatever it is. It's an RN. It's an out. It's a fly ball to right. Oh, and I, did, I still didn't bring in the pinch runner for Hodges. Well, that's going to screw up my Mets big time. Because a fly, on a fly ball to right with a bases loaded, he could have a chance to tag for sure. Bases loaded, F9, and it says if the guy, if I would have brought in an A or a B, he would score. So I screwed up. I said it. I just got all excited making changes. And so it's a fly ball to right, and Hodges won't be able to score because of the genius manager. So that's two outs. And it's all... On Hubie Brooks' shoulder, the tying run is at third base, 90 feet away. It's 2-1 to one now, Cincinnati here at the top of the sixth inning. Mets have really put something together with four, with actually, yep, four hits, a double and three singles. But uh, Hodges was uh, ahead of the pack, and he was clogging up the bases. Nobody was able to move. But really, you need to have really two outs to really have a, an advantage unless, uh, you know, in this game, um, it's kind of tricky. All right, so let's let's see. Let's pitch to Hubie Brooks. Let's see if Hubie can be the star here. He can be the the hero. It's an 11, so it's off Hubie, and that's a 67. That'll be an RN out, and that bounced the third. No error. Bench feels it, throws the first, and that retires the side. Mets pick up one run, and one, two, three, four, on four hits, and they leave three. They leave the bases loaded, and we go to the bottom of the sixth inning. So watch everything fall apart now for Seaver. Eddie Milner. BD, no, doesn't count because there's nobody on base. It's a 5. That's off Seaver, 81. That's an out. It's an LN. LN has popped up. Catcher right in front of the mound. One way. So Eddie Milner pops up. Here's Cesar Cedeno with a 3. That's Seaver and a 73. That's going to be a RN fly ball left field. Foster under it. Two down. And we need to get through bench. Come on now. I'm running out of cards. BD. No good. Four. That's off Seaver. Come on, baby. Come on. And that's going to be a 75. That'll do it. RP bounce to the first baseman. Kingman. Kingman. Feels it. Follows it, but holds on. And then retires the side. Three up, three down for Seaver. Now he makes me look a little bit better. Had he collapsed in that inning, I would have been feeling nightmarish. All right. So we go to the top of the seventh, and it's shuffle, shuffle time. Do the shuffle. All right, we're in the top of the seventh, and it's Mookie Wilson up versus uh, Ben Hayes. Mookie Wilson bats. He's a switch hitter, so he'll be batting lefty against Hayes. The score's two to one. Reds. It's going to be a six. That's going to be off of Wilson, and a 31. It's going to be a drive down the line. Uh, he's bat actually bang lefty, so he goes the opposite field. And that's down the line past the diving third baseman and into the corner in left field. And Mookie Wilson will get into second base standing. Lead off double for Mookie, and that's going to put uh, that's actually minus one for Hayes. Hayes came in in the top in the top of the sixth inning and uh, got a couple of Mets to make out. He got uh, Bradley, the pinch hitter, to fly out, and then. Hubie Brooks bounced out with the bases loaded. So he came up huge, but he gives up a leadoff double here in the top of the seventh inning. That's going to bring up Kingman, Foster, and Hodges. These are the guys the Mets want here if they're going to tie this ball game up. It's 2-1 to one, Cincinnati. But the Mets have something going. Let's see what happens. Uh, that was off Kingman, so we're going to check for an error on that play, and there's no error. So here goes. It's a 6. That's going to be off Kingman, and an 84. That's going to be an out. RP. Fly ball to right. And this may be a, an opportunity to tag up here because he is an A, and I can almost guarantee that's a tag up opportunity. So that ball's flat out to right field with a runner at second base. F9, and that is OB, OBR A and B. It's going to tag up. So that makes sense, right? The faster runners, the better run base runners are going to tag up. 
So now you have the tying run at third base and one out. Here's George Foster. Pitch from Hayes. That's an eight. That's going to be off Foster, and that's going to be an 84. See what kind of an out it is. Uh, the infield's going to be playing in, obviously. And an 84. What kind of an out? That's really what we want to know. It's going to be a ground ball to second base with the infield in. And here it is. It's on this chart here. Runner on third. G4 with the infield in. Consult defensive option play chart. And here it is. That's on the board right here. Defensive option play chart. Offense decides to send the runner to third home. Then defense has the option of either making the play at home or allowing the runner to third to score. Retiring batter at first. If runner's coming home, defense trying for the out. Okay. He is an A, so he's going to be safe on 11 to 48. He's going to be out on 51 to 88. Wow. There's one out, and we're going to try to score him. So here we're going to pull a card. There's going to be a play at the plate. So it's going to go Oster to the catcher, Biardello. And the tag blocks the plate, the tag, and he is safe. Slides in under the tag, and this game is tied. So that's going to be a fielder's choice. Fielder's choice and an RBI for Foster. He's on it first. And uh, it's an RBI, so he drives in number three. So Foster bounces one to the second baseman who picks it up and whips it at home, but Mookie Wilson slides in under the Biardello tag. And, um, and this game is tied at two. That'll be a run coming in there. So he loses the one. So next batter is Hodges. Hodges with a seven. That's going to be off Hodges. That's going to be a 63. And LN out of some kind. And that is bounce to second. Easy play. Two out. Oh, actually, there's a runner on first. Wait a second. Uh, ooh, there's a runner on second. And that was well, maybe a double play. It's going to be a double play. We have 4 6 3 double play. And we'll retire the sides, but the Mets come up with a one on a, on a leadoff double, a, uh, a tag to third, and then a fearless choice. And we're going to go to the bottom of the seventh inning. Let's see how Tom Terrific can do here. He's going to be facing Dan Dreesen. There's a pitch to Dreesen. It's a 10, so it's off Dreesen. And a 74, that's an out. Dreesen's a lefty and LN, and that'll be bounced to second base. Fielded cleanly by Giles, one away. Now, the Mets have a very good bullpen, so I definitely have a couple of guys up in the bullpen. All right, here goes. That's a 3, so that's off Seaver. And a 62, that's going to be an out. And SN, that's popped up right side. Third base, uh, first baseman Kingman, he's there. Two out. And next is Dwayne Walker. Here's a pitch that's off Seaver. So Seaver's getting the good cards of 43, and that will be some sort of an out. LN, that'll be a pop up infield. Second baseman by the bag on the outfield grass. Right behind the bag, and he makes the catch. Three up and three down for Tom Terrific here in the seventh, and he will be up, so he'll probably pinch hit receiver here in the top of the eighth inning. All right. Let's see what happens. Brian Giles leading off. will be off Giles' cart, and that will be a 15, and that is going to be lined to center. Nope, to left field. Played on a hop by the left fielder. Walker and Giles is on. Now Giles is stolen base is a C, so we're not going to try to steal here. But I think that's going to be it. That's going to be it for Hayes, who's not really all that good. And we're going to see. Let me quickly look at who else they use. Sure, Hume. Let's bring in Hume. I think it's time for him. I think he's actually one of their main guys.
So Tom Hume's ready and he will be coming in. And he will have a 10. All right, so we're going to have to let him go for a while because this is late in the game, and plus it's a tie game, so uh, we don't want to run out of pitchers. So it's going to be Gardner, and he's going to square away. He is a bunter, a DD sacrifice, and so not very good, but we're going to try it anyway, at least for one, one attempt, and that's going to be a 46 on the DD, and that is... Uh, 46 is going to be lead runner tagged out, catcher to the base. So a little a bunt, bunted in front of the plate, and catcher Billardello jumps out from behind the plate and pounces on it, fires the second. That's going to be a feeler's choice. So Gardner. Gardner on it first now, and he's not, not really great. Oh, he's got a B. Okay, he's not too bad. So Tom Terrific is going to be out, and we are bringing Rusty Stav to pinch hit. Now, Strawberry and Hernandez will be on this team eventually. It's just not here just yet. I've got to print out a whole new set of this team on my scanner because they're filthy. I hate to say that, but if he must have used this team a lot. I don't know. Well, he used the National League. Whoever owned this before me used the National League. But it uh, seems that the Mets are particularly grimy. All right, so stop is up. And here's the pitch. It's going to be a 7, so it's going to be off stop and a 72. And LN, that will be an out of some kind. It's going to be a bouncer to second base. No errors. It's going to be a fielder's choice, 4-6. And Rusty's on now at first. Gonna get a pinch runner. It's gonna be Bobby Backman. And here comes the top of the order. Mark Bradley. It was originally it was Danny Heap, but Bradley came in to pinch hit and stayed in to play right field. Here's a pitch. It's an eight. That's gonna be off Bradley. A 21, and that's gonna be just what the doctor ordered. He's a righty, but he's going to go the opposite field and drive one in the gap, and that's going to bounce one hop off the wall. And let's see if Backman, who is, should be pretty quick and score, that would be outstanding. Well, outstanding for the Mets, right? And Backman is a B, OBRB, so let's see. And the right fielder, what's his arm rating? Sedeno's uh, arm rating, I think, I think it was a... It was a three, so that's scoring from first to home on a double. And there are two outs. That's what the doctor ordered, two outs. So we're going to get a boost for that. It's a T3 versus a B1 to 36, 1 to 56. So there's going to be a play at the plate. Cedeno fires in the second baseman, Oster. Here's the play at the plate. Billardello blocking the plate, and Backman is safe. The Mets have taken the lead. And uh, OBR Bradley is a B, and I believe he will take the extra base. Uh, if A or B will advance when a play is made on a runner who is advancing to either home or second or first uh, to third on singles, the batter automatically takes second. If his OBR A or B, okay, when he... Okay, so he will advance. And he will take the extra base. So that's going to be a double, a huge double for Bradley. And it picks up an RBI. The Mets have taken the lead. So Wally Backman showing off the, the wheels. And the Mets are up 3-2 to two here in the top of the eighth inning in Cincinnati. All right, runner at third, and here's Hubie Brooks. And that's going to be... Uh, Hume came in, and that's going to be a double. So we're just bringing down down one. That's all he's allowed. That's a six. That's going to be off of Brooks, and a 78 will be an out, and RN 
will be a fly ball right field. Sedano over. Makes the catch. So we got one run coming in on two big hits for the Mets. And they lead it 3-2. to two. We go to the bottom of the eighth inning. So Sieber's out. We're going to need a new pitcher. And uh, who's coming in? Uh, who's batting? It's going to be uh, Bill Ardello. Hume. Hume came in, so we have to pull a double switch. We had to pull a double switch on that because otherwise... All right, Householder came in to play left field, and he'll be batting there. And the pitcher places Walker. Okay, so we're good. It's going to be a new pitcher for the Mets. So we got uh, Householder is a lefty, I believe. So I'm going to probably bring in one of my two top lefties. Uh, no, he's a switch hitter, actually. Okay. Switch hitter. Bilardello is a righty. And a switch hitter. And then Concepcion is a, is a righty. So we're going to bring in my righty, and that is going to be Sisk. Sisk is coming in. And Sisk is a pretty good pitcher, so Mets had an excellent bullpen, by the way, in 1983. Had three top levers. So the the uh, pitcher cards are in blue. You can see that. There's Sisk. But that is his uh, hitting card. So let's find his his pitching card. Oh, there's some more. I left some cards on the table over here. There he is. All right, so another dirty card. I got a lot of like finger marks on these cards. I got to print out a new set, a new batch. All right, so Sisk is in there, and he's our R. It's only a six. He will be facing Bill Ardello here in the bottom of the eighth inning. The Mets lead at three to two. They come from, come from behind, been trailing the whole game. And here's a pitch from Sisk, and it's going to be a 6. That's going to be off of Sisk. And a 74, that'll be an out, an RP, a pop-up, infield grass, shortstop, Gardner makes the catch. Next is Paul Householder. That's a 12. Oh, I never rolled for that. I don't know if I rolled for an error for that double before. 12 is uh, it's going to be off Householder, and a 37 is a strikeout. So, curveball. From Sisk gets Householder. And uh, here's the top of the order. Here's Concepcion, bottom of the eight, two outs. That's up, three to two. Pitch from Sisk. Clutch, that doesn't count. So it's Sisk, a 27, and that is ball four. So the tying run is on at first on a walk. Concepcion, he's got good speed. And uh, yeah, not, not, not great base dealer. This is C. If you were an A or a B, I'd try to steal. All right, here's the pitch. So oh, he loses one. Here's the pitch. It's an 11. That's going to be off Eddie Milner. And a 31 is going to be a deep drive off the bat of Milner. And Milner to right field. That's way back. That's gone. Two-run shot by Eddie Milner. And the Reds have retaken the lead. Ouch. Two runs come in. And the Reds now lead it four to three. And a ball that was left over the plate, and Eddie Milner, who's not known for his power, jumped all over it and drove one into the seats in right center field. Two run shot. And the score now is four to three Reds, and up comes Cesar Cedeno. So he gives up a home run and a couple of runs. So he's there. Yikes. Here's Sedania. Yeah, that's a four. That's going to be off Sisk and an 18. And that is line base hit center field. Played on a hop by Mookie Wilson. And Johnny Bench is up. It was Nick Dan Dreesen and after him. 
that's going to be a one. So he's out of he's out of uh, energy. So we're going to go to the bullpen. I'm going to bring in. Oh boy, that's not what the doctor ordered. I think we're going to go with Jesse Roscoe. Carlos, you know what? We're going to go to Carlos Diaz. He's a lefty, but the next batter is um, Dreesen. He's a lefty as well. So he just has to get bench out. Here he goes. That's a, wait, it's a six. That's an eight. It's going to be off Diaz. And a 65 will be an out RP. Is he fly out to left now in the inning? But the damage has been done. A two run shot by Eddie Milner, a walk, and then a home run by Eddie Milner puts the Reds up by a score of 4-3. to three. And we go to the top of the ninth. So this is last legs for the Mets, basically. Tom Hume, he's in line for the victory now. Here's a pitch, and that's a 7. That's going to be off Mookie Wilson, a 73. He's an SN, and an SN has bounced the third. Pick up by bench and bench. Oh, actually, they, they brought in a. Uh, let's see who they brought in to play third base. Defensive replacement at third. I didn't notice that. Let's see if Krenchicki, ah, oh man, I think he's with another team. I think I saw him with another team. Let me, let me click on him. Waiting for really, it's moving really slowly into that tonight. That's weird. In 83, he went to Detroit. So, but he was still with the Reds at this time. He went to Detroit. He played 110 games with the Red. Uh, no, he played with the Reds. He played 51 games, so he's still around. This is like the first week of the season. So Krenchicki came in defensively, and uh, he will. Well, he Wilson is an SN. He will. Uh, I was almost guaranteed that was to the third base. Yeah, it was to the third baseman, then there's no error. So Krenchicki up with it, over to first, throws out Wilson for the first out. All right, Hume, it's an eight. That's going to be off Kingman. Kingman could tie it up here with a home run. That's a 38. That's going to be a strikeout. <laughs> Swings and misses. Swinging for the fences. Yikes. Had that been 17-24, would have been out of here. Two outs, so the Mets are down to the last out. Here's a pitch. That's a six. That's going to be off uh, Foster. Foster also with power at 22, and that's going to be a drive. One hop off the wall, and Foster going to dig it for a second. He's in there standing up. A two-out double. And Foster now we're going to bring in a pinch runner. It's going to be Bob Baylor. And batting is Hodges. Um, can I bring in to pinch hit here for the Mets? So Baylor's running. Hmm. So I used I used a bunch of players already. I used uh, Bradley. I used Backman. I used um, Baylor. I used Staub. I 
me see who else if I have anybody else out here. Oh, Ron Reynolds. I can pinch it with Ron Reynolds, but um, Tom Hume is a, is a righty, so I'm going to stick with Ron Hodges, see if Ron Hodges could be the hero here. What do you guys think? I think Hodges could pull it off. Two out. Baylor is a runner now, and he is an OBR of A, so that's the guy you want running. He'll score from second base pretty easily, unless there's a miracle in, in the outfield that throws him out. That would be a miracle. So here's a pitch from Tom Hume. So Hume gives up uh, subtracting there. That's a seven. That's going to be off Hodges, and that's going to be an 81, an LN, and that's going to be a fly ball center field. Under it is Milner, and that's the ball game. Mets lose it. No runs, one hit, one left in the top of the ninth for the Mets. Final score: four to three Reds. The loss is going to go to Sisk. And uh, t no decision for terrific. Let's put these over. This is his fourth start of the season. He actually pitched much better in this game than he did in his uh, in his fourth start. He actually gave up five runs in five innings in this game. So that was a good thing. Let's look quickly look at the uh, score sheet just to do a couple of things and hits. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve hits for the Mets. Uh, one, two, three, four, four hits for the Reds. Let's see if there's any errors. I don't think there was any errors. A couple wild pitches by Seaver, but no errors in this game. So no errors on this game. So what did Seaver do in this game? He went, he pitched seven innings. Pitched very well, by the way. Gave up um, only two, one hit, two hits, three. Okay, then it would have it would be, yeah. I don't know, five hits. So one, two, three, four, five. Seaver gave up three hits. And uh, two runs, those early runs on the home run by uh, Cedeno. And he walked one there. He only walked one. T uh, yeah, he only walked one. Surprising. He struck out two, four, five, five Ks. Had a couple of wild pitches, though. Couple wild pitches. Batters faced. He faced 18 plus 7 is 25 batters faced. Hit by pitch. No hit by pitch, just two wild pitches. And that's about it. So Seaver with seven innings, three hits, two runs, two earned runs, one walk, five strikeouts. Pitched pretty darn well. Should have had the victory. Mets could not score any runs, although it was an exciting game. They came back. In the in the seventh with a run to tie it up at two apiece. Well, in the sixth they came scored a run. It was two to one. Then in the in the seventh they scored another run. That made it two two. And then in the eighth they scored another run. That made it three two. But uh, then the Sis came in, and in the bottom of the eighth inning, the Reds uh, came right back and retook the lead when Dave Concepcion walked after there were two outs and Eddie Milner got a hold of a a hanger, and he drove it into the seats in right field, and that was a 4-3 to three lead for the Reds. The Reds held on in the ninth, despite the double by George Foster. Actually, he had two doubles in this game. He went two for five. George Foster did, so he's contributing. Anyway, this is Tony Porter, Cards and Dice TV. Now I'm ready to play about six to nine games with the 1959 Braves using Fall Classic Baseball. Tune in for my other action uh, remember to join Universal Baseball Association Facebook group. It's the Facebook group for those guys that hate Facebook groups. I guarantee you you're going to like this group. Take care, guys.